with another variation. We call it position number two, and I showed you position number one, which was the basic one. Now, position number two is when my opponent is countering the foot or removing the foot which I put on his head. So, I show you. So, you're here in the control position, like I showed you in the last video. You have this position from here, same thing, I move backwards, tight, I move my hip, I go close to his leg, I bring my foot here, and he is able, while I try to move, he's able to get the foot away and get up. I move here, would push like this. This is my first step. From here, I try to grab the foot, and now I try to move my hips in this direction. One more time. I show you one, one in a normal speed so you can see what, what it looks like. From here, I'm here. So from here, I'm backward. Here. Up this way. Now from here. So let me explain you what is important. When you have the position, when you have the foot, usually when you keep the, the other leg, it's difficult for him to get up. But sometimes, he still, even if I grab his leg, he can push my head, my leg down and can get up. And even if, you know, maybe he can make me trouble. So it's, if he gets up, it's not a good position for me to start working the footlock here. I don't, I don't like to play, I don't like to play too much open guard with the weight of my opponent on top of me. So if I can finish the leg lock, or at least if I couldn't finish, at least I can sweep and get the top position. It's much more my game than doing it uh, the other way. So here I have the foot. Um, what is important is, as soon as I feel that he is getting up, I need to bring this left leg back and the right leg forward. Because if I keep my left leg here when he comes up and I do this, you know, it wouldn't work. He would land on my leg. He maybe can grab my leg. He can escape. Um, not a good idea. It's important to, to push, to pull this leg away. So this knee has the space to be on the ground, to isolate his leg. I need to create a hook with my shin. That is the, 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 the chance to control his leg. So I'm here, I pull my left leg backwards, and my right, come up, here I push forward. You see, I extend my hip. This is very important, I extend my hip. Now I try to get the foot, and now, you see, important, the sweep is important. You know, the foot lock itself, it's usually you can get it, but it's important to understand how to sweep. It's here, watch my hips. When I'm here, I extend, I extend my body, and then I go around. I'm not trying to just, if he is uh, getting up, just doing this. You see, I need to, I use my shin and push his hip or his, yeah, his hip to the ground. So, one more time. I have the control, I'm here, I use left leg backwards, right leg, hip forward, push, and on the ground. If I couldn't finish from here, which is sometimes possible, just keep it, lift up, and see what I can do from here. Either pass his guard, stand up, try it again for going for a leg hook, whatever. One more time. Uh, here. So control number one, here that's the first step. I move backward, I go for the footlock, I have a good position here. He pushed my feet down, I use my right hip forward, left leg backward, boom. From here sometimes I even could get up and could from here go for a submission. Both is possible. Like I said, the most important point is to Use the hip from the inside leg moving forward, pulling the outside leg backward. So you create kind of a scissor which creates space for my inside leg to make a hook over his, over his leg, the leg I attack. And then I'm able to isolate the leg and get a leg lock. Can get up and get a leg lock or I can get up and try to pass his guard. That's for now and I see you again with position number three.